Hello YouTube, um, this is part 3, the final part of my Firewood Stash for 2017. As you can see I've got a pretty large uh, garden centre box full here. Um, this is from uh, Lidl, Aldi, uh, Wyvale Garden Centres and Chaplin Superstore in Taunton. Um, got some nice nice good selection here. I will start with the uh, I will start with the Lidl Bonfire Star box and the other little item I got. This is a nice box. You, um, if you might have seen my unboxing of this already, a uh, good selection, 18 piece. It's 350 grams in there. A really good variety actually. That looks like a really solid box. Um, I won't take the lid off actually because you can see through the plastic. <laughs> Not much point doing that. But yeah, it's a really good box. Um, watch the unboxing of that and you'll see. Um, all the all the pieces on individually. That is a that's a really nice box actually. That one. Um, I will then do the silver selection by Kim Bolton. Uh, this was from Y Vale, uh, twenty seven pounds, uh, twenty seven fifty even. Uh, Three hundred seventy five grams. Seventeen fireworks. Uh, low noise box advertised. Has no whistles. Um, don't know if there's any sort of bangs or crackles. I'll find out. I guess when we light it. Um, expensive, but. Kim Bolton is uh, synonymous for quality, so I'm hoping this will uh, carry on with that. Good, uh, no over packaging as far as I can see in here at all. So it does look a really good box. Um, I'll do a proper, a proper detailed unboxing of uh, of that in a bit. But that look, does look a really good box. That one. Uh, on to the Highway to Hell from Lidl. Very, very large compound. Um, very heavy. Well, this is not really big, but you know what I mean. Um, 82 shots uh, firing in 75 seconds. Uh, it's a really nice looking piece. Actually, the videos look good. I will just try and get it out of the uh, out of the box. Um, sorry about my hand getting in the way. Uh, I, don't know. I can't remember where I got it at last time. Just to show you the compound, uh, the compound inside it is quite a, quite an interesting piece because it's on a board. I'll just put that down a second. There we go. So you light uh, the first cake, and then you've got the final uh, two slightly larger cakes here. That's a 36, and they're two 21s. Um, I must just point out, because um, I only noticed this a couple of days ago, it doesn't seem like many other people have noticed either, the final three shots in these two are fanned, so you need to place this side, the long side, facing your spectators. Very, very important you do that, um, particularly if you're only viewing at 8 metres. Um, that's a crucial little point to note. But this looks a really good compound, actually. Looking forward to... Uh, Seeing that one in the flesh. On to the very small Astro selection box from TNT at Aldi, eight metre box. Um, I've done an unboxing video already of this, so I won't uh, I won't get it all out again. But a really nice little box actually. 115 grams, I think 114 of powder, which is nice for such a small box. 4.49 is a really good price. That's a a good looking piece. And then onto the slightly uh, bigger stuff. Oh. Got some 18 inch sparklers as well, quid and chaplains. Uh, also from the garden centre, Wyvale, Kim Bolton's Jumping Jelly Beans, a very, very big fountain. Uh, there's six tubes in here and 150, 150 grams of uh, powder. Quite a well known fountain, this quite uh, popular, I think. There's the uh, effects, the uh, jelly bean effect is sort of a blob of colour. So it does, it does, to be fair, look quite like uh, jumping jelly beans. Um, ten pounds. It's quite expensive, but hopefully that'll be a really good piece. Looking forward to seeing that one. Uh, onto the little rocket pack we got from Wyvale. Um, this was free on the free for two because uh, of the price of the jelly beans. It was either this free or a little mine cake. I went with the rockets because I haven't got too many this year. Just a nice little one point three G, one point three G, one point four G rocket pack. Sorry, uh, fifteen grams of powder in each rocket, which is quite high for such a such a small pack for her, so hopefully they'll be quite good, particularly obviously for free, you can't quibble about it, not cost anything. And then onto the slightly bigger stuff from Chaplin's. So I've got Starring and Ultimate Battle of Colours. As you can see, really good prices on these, $5.99 and $6.99. Uh, I had both of these before, this is the third time of having Starring. Uh, really good little cake that, good crackles, um, really good colours in there. Uh, my It's my preference over Exploding Cherries, although to be honest they're both really good, particularly for 7 quid. Uh, it's 130 something grams of powder, 142 even better, so that's a really good content in there, really good price as well. And Ultimate Battle of Colours, 102 grams for a 12 shot cake, it's uh, it's not quite as big, it's tubes around the outside and a big empty tube in the middle to hold it up. But that's another really nice Cap 2 cake, um, these are old, 
BS five meter pieces, so you could probably the, these are ideal for a small eight meter garden. I have to say, um, perfect for just you know a little a little garden display. Then we have Angel Dust. Five ninety nine. This is a brilliant, brilliant cake. It's a mine cake. Um, they're quite rare. Don't get them very often. Uh, one hundred and uh, one hundred and twenty grams of powder in here. There's the uh, they call them bouquets. So I think it's just a mine effect, really. Um, but that's a really good cake actually for the price. Looking forward very much to seeing that one either at Bonfire or New Year. And. A piece I've wanted to try for a while, but has always been a bit expensive. This is the uh, Brothers Crazy Clock. Uh, you get a Catherine wheel effect from the hands, and then you get a load of fountains around the side. Uh, it is expensive, usually. You'd normally expect to pay sort of in the region of uh, 20 quid for this, sort of 16 to 20 pounds. Um, this was 12.99 in Chaplin's. Uh, so I thought for that price, I might as well give it a go, see if it lives up to its billing. Very, very popular piece. It's 102 grams of powder, so it is quite. It's not very much powder for quite a lot of money, but you know it's a raved about piece. It's really popular, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how that one is. Um, that one will be fired at New Year's, so got to wait a little while, unfortunately. But never mind. And then finally, the uh, slightly larger cake, Screeching Skyrider from Brothers. It's twelve ninety nine uh, from Chaplin Superstore again. Uh, it's a big bore piece. This it's twenty five mil. As you can see, the tubes are nice and uh, nice and solid. No over, over packaging at all, as per usual with Brothers. Uh, I can't remember exactly what the effect is. There we go: red, green, yellow, silver tails to uh, red, green, yellow, silver palm with crackling stars. Uh, that looks a really nice piece. Category two again, although you probably do with 15 meters really. 235 grams of powder, which is really solid for a cake of this price. Uh, so yeah, that, that looks another really good piece. So I'm looking forward to seeing that one again at New Year's Eve there. So that is it. That is my fireworks for 2017. Um, we will be adding more at New Year's Eve. Um, you can't really have get away with New Year's Eve with three cakes and a fountain, can you really? Uh, probably in the region of another £100. I said that for Bonfire Light and we've spent probably close to 200 now. But um, yeah, so that'll be it until New Year's Eve now for fireworks. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you shortly. Thanks for watching.